just gonna go to the museum and to see an exhibition so it's gonna be an educational day Yay! we got here at the Blaine Southern where there's an exhibition of Kiaru Shiota called Me Somewhere Else if you're in London just come and see it it's on until 19th of January second destination. We found some other exhibition and look at this. And she could stare at this for ages. Now we go to Foyo's library. Here you can literally just take books and go up to the coffee shop and just start reading them. But we decided to be in between the shelves. First of the books which we want to show you is Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. I am afraid of public speaking and because of this book I decided to challenge myself and whenever I have an occasion to talk in front of people I just do it, I just talk or ask questions. I hope a lot of you know about this book. The subtle art of not giving up. So this book is a refreshing slap in the face for all of us filled with entertaining stories, real talk and ruthless humor. The best quote in this book is, in life we have a limited amount of to give so you must choose your wisely. Jack Canfield is one of my favorite authors. His books are focused on success. You can get to know some principles which will help you to move from where you are to where you want to be. This is definitely gonna be my next book. It's written by Napoleon Hill and I read one of his books is uh, Think and Grow Rich. It's like my Bible. You have to read it. It's a must. Procrastination robs you of opportunity. It is a significant fact that no greater leader was ever known to procrastinate. I just found this book and because Maria loves Da Vinci, I'm gonna read it. It's called Think Like Da Vinci, seven easy steps to boosting your everyday genius. After reading Tony Robbins' book, I applied a few techniques he's teaching in the book and I'm going more holidays. So if you want to go more holidays, just get yourself a book. Yeah.